Hi, I'm Ed Bowles with uh, Piedmont Stone Center. Uh, we come here to Valdez General to help Dr. Bauer do lithotripsy. Uh, it's a procedure to break kidney stones with shockwave therapy. Um, the patients come out, uh, they're just in a wheelchair. They're not having to be uh, heavily sedated or um, as if they were being having to go to the operating room as uh, in the past. There's no surgery, nothing invasive. Uh, the patients are wheeled out here on a wheelchair, given a light pre-medication inside. They come out here, they just lay on the table, either supine or on their belly. Um, we use the x-ray camera here to get the stones on target. We're using real-time fluoroscopy back here to put the stones on, on target. It's literally putting the stones in a set of crosshairs on the TV screen, so it's very much like playing a video game. The part that breaks the stone is this shock wave back here, the shock head back here. It's a water-filled bag. This slides over into this hole in the table up against the patient's backside and uh, then the shock waves are transmitted through the water, through the patient's body and, and to the stone to break the stone. Um, the patients are given uh, mild sedation while they're out here. It's not heavy sedation so there's much less risk involved than what would be going on in the operating room. So it's much more patient friendly and user friendly uh, from the standpoint of uh, the old ways of getting uh, kidney stones out. Um, the procedure takes about 45 minutes on average. The patients go back inside. They're probably inside for uh, 30 minutes to an hour recovering, and then they go home and uh, pretty much are back to it. And they just have to pass the, the uh, fragments afterwards. Ed, uh, if you don't mind me asking, now, yeah, that, how exactly does that focus, and how does it keep from damaging the patient's uh, other body tissues uh, as the sound goes through? It's, it's very fine-tuned in the accuracy. It's not a random scatter of, uh, of energy. The energy is very pinpoint in its alignment. Uh, we actually do a test every day to make sure everything is, is focused accurately. Um, so as far as, there is some bruising of the skin from the, from the transmission and the entry of the shockwave. Um, but as far as uh, damaging other organs, the goal is not to hit those for one thing. Um, so as far as why we don't dam damage other tissues, the, the key is, is to, we, we don't focus on those and we're using the x-ray uh, imaging to, to keep ourselves on target and on the stone. Uh, lots of testing, this uh, went into this before this uh, procedure was ever uh, developed and uh, we've actually been doing the, as a company, we've been doing this for gosh 25 years now, 25 years. And so uh, basically you're able to absolutely focus and pinpoint sounds to a specific point through the patient's body so that it so sort of triangulates on the stone and busts it up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it, it's, uh, it's not truly a sound wave, although the, all the physical parameters are the same. It's more of a mechanical type wave. It's a little different. But um, we, we use the x-rays. We line the patients up head to foot and side to side. This C-arm actually can oblique either direction which gives us a cut through and gives us the depth of where the stone is. So we know exactly where the stone is in the body and then the shock wave is already focused to match with that centering point.